Hey guys, so this is actually officially the fourth time that I've tried to get out this message and do this reading. So something in the universe is not wanting me to do it, but you know, I'm determined to get this message out. So right now we have the 555 portal open. May is the fifth month of the year. Two plus three equals five, as well as 2021 equals five. So just a lot of great energies in the air right now. Also right now, Saturn is in retrograde. So with that said, I am a Capricorn. So I know a lot about Saturn because Saturn is the ruling planet of Capricorn. And Saturn is all about lessons as well as karma. So right now the universe will be testing you, probably why the universe is testing me to see if I'll be able to push through all these obstacles right now of me trying to get out this reading. Um, but that's just kind of the energy that's um, going on right now. So. A lot of you are going to feel tested by the universe and the universe is going to try to see if you actually have learned your lessons, you know, if you are preaching unconditional love, if you're preaching, you know, sending peace and love and light and wanting to promote harmony, you know, the universe is going to test you and see if you actually have learned your lessons. Um, and that's just something to be aware of, you know, you learn throughout your lifetime and people make mistakes and it's more about being in control of yourself being in control of reactions and you know showing to the universe as well as others that you actually have learned your lessons and you know who you are now is not who you were in the past and that's just something to keep in mind so that said i'm finally going to get into this reading and i have already cleansed with my kamaya healing sprays and let's just get into it also later this week, we have a full moon and it there's a lot of energies with that. It is a blood moon, it is a super moon. Um, it's called the flower moon and it's also in Sagittarius. So obviously I'm gonna have a reading coming out um, for that day as well. Um, but for now, let's just check in with the collective and see what's going on with everyone now that Saturn um, is in retrograde. So again, a lot of you guys are going to be dealing with past karma, um, past lessons, things that, you know, were bothering you in the past and, you know, trying to work through those things and really testing yourself. Um, also, I was, um, I've said this in my blog posts, um, you know, I've always been a very vivid dreamer. And right now I keep having recurring dreams of, you know, me being in school, me being back in college. And I think that's just, you know, um, the shadow of Saturn about to go into retrograde and, you know, being ready, you know, like I'm about to be tested. The tests are coming. So definitely something to keep in mind. Okay. So we got four cards so far. The first one that came out, we have four of wands. So some of you may have gotten into a relationship or um, went home. Um, this is also a card of homecoming. So, you know, tried to create a home, went back home. Maybe you moved um, to a different state and then you moved back home. Um, that's what I'm feeling with this card. Next, we have the King of Swords. So, um, you know, a little step down from the Emperor, but again, you know, with this 555 portal, um, a lot of people are feeling really in their power, really confident in their decision making. So here's the confirmation, the King of Swords is here. Um, next, we have Nine of Swords. So I feel like some of you guys are suffering in silence. So even, you know, what you're projecting to the world right now is very confident, very happy. Um, at night, you're dealing with a lot of things from your past um, that are still haunting you. So definitely something to be aware of. And next, we have the Six of Wands, which is great. That just means victory is coming. So, you know, get through this um, Saturn retrograde you know, um, make sure that the universe sees that you have learned your lessons and, you know, you're acting out of your right mind and, you know, your victory is coming, um, you know, with the planet of karma. Karma doesn't always have to be bad. Karma can also be good if you're acting out of your right mind and for the benefit of other people. Um, that's definitely just something to keep in mind and consider. Like, don't worry if like you've been good and you've been healing your heart and doing good by other people. You know, the universe will reward you for good karma as well. 
Um, so we had one other card come out and we have the Eight of Swords. So obviously upright, the Eight of Swords is a trapped energy, you know, feeling stuck between a rock and a hard place and not able to make decisions. So if you look at this girl, you know, her binds actually aren't even that tight. She's not even sitting in like really deep waters. She's no danger at all. She just has a blindfold on. So with this finally being in reverse, that means you've taken off your blindfold. You are ready to step forward. You're ready to put all these conflicts from the past behind you. Things that were holding you back from moving forward. You're ready to be confident. You're ready to speak your truth. And that's great to see. So we're looking for just one more card here. Right. So then we have two of pentacles in reverse. So this is great. This just means you go, you guys are no longer juggling. You're not um, worried and like trying to figure out what you need to prioritize. You're over juggling. You're ready to stand up. You're ready to be in your truth. You're ready to live with love. You're ready to communicate what you want and you're ready to be confident. So that is a great um, outlook to have. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have eight of pentacles in reverse. So in my recent readings, I've talked to you guys about how Eight of Pentacles to me is kind of the slow poke energy where, you know, you're working too much. You're getting lost in the day to day of work and you're working really hard, but you're actually, you know, you're not getting any benefits out of it. So it's good to have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. That just means you're confident and you're ready to be working towards something that's going to bring you know, longer term goals, that's going to bring you more happiness in your future and, you know, you don't want to be juggling your decisions. You want to be able to stand confidently. Um, yeah, so there's that. For whatever reason, Spirit is telling me to look at the cards underneath. So we're going to do that right now. So we have that Eight of Pentacles. Next, we have Five of Swords. So this is a nostalgic energy. Maybe you left someone in the past. Um, maybe you hurt someone in your past. Maybe you betrayed someone. Um, but now that it's in reverse, you know, you're no longer living in the past, which is great, especially with this Nine of Swords energy that came out. Nine is also the um, number of completions. So, you know, you're getting out of this mindset. Now, it's great to see that this is in reverse. You're no longer looking back you're no longer worried about the mistakes that you made in the past. So don't worry this nine of swords energy that you um, have been feeling. If you have been feeling it, you know, if this is relevant to you, you will get out of this mindset. Nine is a number of completion. That cycle of worrying too much about what happened in the past that is closing. Next, we have Six of Pentacles. So this is about investment and investing your time and money with the right people. So um, upright shows that you know you're investing your time and money um with the right people but in reverse i think you know some of you have been investing too much in the wrong people in the wrong relationships and you know nothing was being returned you were in relationships where you're with people who were just takers and you're a natural giver you give so much to people and you know you weren't reaping the rewards which is really sad and i'm like really feeling the sorrow for you guys it's, it's this is a hard thing um to feel and to realize too that you were spending so much time and money with the wrong people but don't worry now that's you know i was like so now that you know that you're investing in the wrong people you can make the right decision walk away from them and that's what we have here with the Six of Swords. So with this Six of Swords already being reversed, what I feel is not that you haven't left, it's more that you've already left. You've already left all those things in the past, you know, this nostalgic energy and this energy of like you, you know, um, investing in the wrong people, you fully put that in the past for you, um, which is great. And then there's the Emperor in reverse. So now that we're in this 555 portal, we have this King of Swords here. In the past, you were the Emperor in reverse. You, you know, you wanted to do good by other people, but you weren't sure about the decisions that you were making and you weren't standing in your power yet. So this is, again, past energy. This is what was holding you back in the past. And lastly, this is the last spirit is telling me this is the last card. So we have strength. So you are feeling confident now. You are ready. Look at you holding back this lion, so unafraid, um, fully in your power, ready to step into this next chapter of your life. And I am so proud of you. So with all of that said, I feel like 
I don't even have to get into any of my oracles. I feel like with tarot alone, we fully got into it. And I don't feel too much of like loving vibes in this either. I don't think there's any love messages here. I think this is just overall energy of what's going on in your life. What um, things you're worried about in terms of your life choices, in terms of any big changes that you want to make. Say you want to move across the country. Say you want to move to a different country. Say you want to make a change in your career path. The biggest thing for you to remember is, you know, you are now um, the King of Swords. You're about to leave this Nine of Swords energy um, in the past and you're no longer jugg juggling your priorities. You know, if you keep moving forward, you show the universe that you have learned your lessons and act out of love and act um, towards, you know, the good of everyone around you, your Six of Wands is coming. That's the overall energy that I'm getting for you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this reading. If this inspired you or compelled you to book a personal reading with me, I would absolutely love that. Um, my full moon um, sale is already going on right now. So um, it's 40% off um, my readings for new and returning clients. So anyone can book a rating with me and I absolutely love doing my personal readings. I've been having so much fun with you guys and hopefully you guys have been enjoying these collective videos that I've been putting up. Um, but that's it for today's video. Thank you guys as always so, so much for subscribing. Please um, like this video if you wanna see more card readings, you know, comment down below if anything resonated with you. I would love to see that. And thanks for everything guys. See you in my next one, bye.